Humphrey Hartman and Cameron. We come from Richland, Washington. This is our first time at the Huckleberry Festival. So, are the Huckleberries good? Yes. <laughs> we haven't had the opportunity yet. Okay, Huckleberry tarts, highly recommended. Just call me 
Eastern Washington, and we have tumbleweeds. And you know, they're big and they collect in huge heaps. This is a song about a woman who is driven totally insane by her stack of tumbleweeds. That's my spot. Much better. Two, three, four. Crazy Lizzie lives outside of town in a ramshackle ranch house with tumbleweeds around. Strong. And fractal dust bunnies, they clutter up her lawn, driving her crazy all year long. Lizzie came from North Idaho. Married at 17, 22, she's a widow. Out on the prairie, she built a new life. Working the land, the wind cuts her like a knife. And fractal dust bunnies, they clutter up her lawn. Feet. But 
they won't eat those damn tumbleweeds. She longs for someone she can call her own, but it's Lizzie and the tumbleweeds and madness all alone. And fractal dust bunnies, they clutter up her mind. Lizzie and the tumbleweeds, she'll be the prairie's bride and tumbleweed, tumbleweed coming for tea sit yourself down and out and out for thee tumbleweed, tumbleweed spin me around in my fine hat and my new dancing gown tumbleweed all day. I'd like to thank the sound guy. This is hard work. He sits here all day and takes instructions from people like me who can't make up their minds. And he's polite about it. Thank you. 
knows our rock and roll tune? We have one. We do have CDs for sale. Interesting you should ask. Funny you should ask. And uh, that was a title cut off of our most recent CD, What Turns You On. They'd be right down here in front, right? They would be right down there in front. Available from us or for the gentleman in the tan t-shirt. And we take plastic. Or CDbaby.com. Jazz drum. 
Thank you. Mango. Hey, Gary. Did you go get me a Coke in a bottle? Coke? I'll tell you what, the smell of the barbecue out here is enough to drive a person nuts. Especially a hungry one, yeah. Well, Mary wrote this next song. We write most of these songs. Mary wrote this next song about one of her finer, finer personal attributes. As you can tell, Mary is rather well endowed. <clears throat> Just not where you'd think. Just not in the uh, desirable place. Digit shoes, only way to go. Interesting. <clears throat> yeah. Well, one of my favorite things to do is to go down to my local racetrack and watch the stock cars go around in a circle and watch the people watching the stock cars going around in a circle. They're quite interesting. A couple of years ago, in May, I was there watching the people watching the stock cars go around in a circle. And right in front of us, there's a woman with two teenage daughters. And it's cold out. It's like 42 degrees. And mom and one of the daughters are all bundled up in sleeping bags. And the other one is sitting there in a little tiny pair of shorts and a little tiny top covered in goosebumps. 
And she was complaining about her recently ex-boyfriend, the stock car driver in the number two car, who just dumped her. And she allowed us how all stock car drivers were, you know, the scum of the earth. And she was really angry. And she was sitting there covered in goosebumps. It turns out that she'd come to go down into the pits at the end of the race and pick up another boyfriend. And so she wanted to sit there and look good despite her mother's best intentions. And you know, sometimes you just have to write a song about those things. She's going down to the racetrack Buy her a couple of beers Find a fast young driver Breathe desire in his ear Show me your gear shift, I'll double clutch you, son. Small town thrill on a Saturday night, she's a NASCAR honey bun. New jeans and a little tank top, she's got jellies on her feet. Talking trash and acting cool, she's a real life trailer queen. So smoking mirrors and looking for some fun. Smoke down thrill on a Saturday night, she's a NASCAR honey bun. Hear those stock cars roar, wheels turning four on the floor. Robin is racing, it's part of the show. The oil is hot, let's go, go, go. Listens as he winds it up, he's gonna be her number one. Small town thrill on a Saturday night, she's a NASCAR honey bun. Small town thrill on a Saturday night, she's a NASCAR honey bun. Thank you. Now we're gonna switch sports. Talk about uh, the machine that comes out of the hockey arena and smooths the ice. You know, we could use some ice today. Yeah. The Zamboni. Yeah, the Zamboni. I'm hearing singing, and it's not me. Okay. Okay. And they're leaving them on? Okay. Maybe we should figure out what key they're in and play with them. You know, only Mary would write a love ballad to a Zamboni machine. I just. Well, I grew up in normal, Wisconsin, that's why. She looks normal, but she's not. But my heart was taken by that wondrous machine Zamboni, Zamboni Steady and graceful, solid and wise Zamboni, Zamboni Magical queen of the
The dolly and candy and games I could play and a note signed Love Santa that said, Dear, I'm sorry. I tried, but I just could not fit in my sleigh. A Zamboni, Zamboni, steady and graceful, solid and Those of you who just came in and sat down, we are Humphrey, Hartman, and Cameron from Richland, Washington. We have CDs available. Right up and here. And we're also going to play here again tomorrow afternoon. Four o'clock. So just a little bit of full disclosure here. We didn't write this next song. George Harrison did. Beatles George Harrison, yeah.
Thank you. Well, this is a brand new song about a really picky woman. Y'all may know somebody just like her. This song is not on our new CD. That's because this song is three weeks old. But we do have a new CD available <laughs> for sale right there. Or online at www.humphreyandhartman.com. explosions or something. another song about a woman scorned and it's an old song last century two centuries ago you know it's like the the winds of uh, scorned women are blowing through here <laughs> two. Black 
Smith courted me nine months and better. He fairly won my heart. He wrote me a letter with his hammer in his hand. He looked quite clever, and if I were with my love, I would live forever. But where is my love gone? With his cheeks like roses and his good black billy coat black ground with primroses I'm afraid the scorching sun would shine and burn his beauty and if I were with my love I would do my duty Strange news has come to town Strange news is carried Strange news flies up and down That my love is married I wish them both much joy Though they can't hear me And may God reward him well For the slighting of me Don't you remember when you lay beside me and said you'd marry me and not deny me? If I said I'd marry you, it was only for to try you. So bring your witness, love. bring your witness, love. Well, I do need chocolate. So we're going to sing a song about chocolate. We can't ever have too much chocolate in this life. Since our whole audience knows that it's a sing along. Yeah. <laughs> okay. The important people are all here. That's right. The best people are here. Touch and go, the point of life was lost on me. Sadder than a robin falling out of its tree. Then I saw it in the freezer, it was chocolate ribbon swirl. Oh. I grabbed a spoon, it was out of this world. A chocolate, chocolate, time at all. Chocolate, make it ten feet tall. Oh, chocolate's my friend. It's faithful and true, just have 
some chocolate, it's good for you. The chocolate is available in many, many ways. Chips, chunks, moles, and chocolate glaze. Now I prefer my chocolate straight. Hold the nuts and the coconut flakes. Hershey and Nestle, and don't forget Clark. Milk, some are sweet and special dark. Mmm, chocolate, chocolate, mm, chocolate, 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 chocolate's my friend. It's faithful and true. Just have some chocolate, it's good for you. Well, chocolate makes me happy, chocolate gets me high. Eat a piece of chocolate and oh my, chocolate is almost as good as sex. Say what? More available and ain't no mess. Chocolate is predictable, it never lets you down. Open up the wrapper and you're upward bound. Oh, chocolate. Anytime at all. Oh, chocolate. Makes you ten feet tall. Oh, chocolate's my friend. It's faithful and true. Just have some chocolate. It's good for you. Hey, can we discuss wedded bliss? Uh -oh. Promise forever sealed with a kiss. And now we share on what's yours is mine. Oh, I know your chocolate's gonna taste divine. But I gotta know. Don't tell me true. Were you after mine when you said I do? Probably. Ooh, Ooh chocolate. Have it on your tongue. Chocolate. Make the old feel young. Oh, pour it over ice cream. Stir it into milk. Ain't no, no such, such thing as chocolate guilt. A oh, chocolate. Ooh, cho Anytime cho at all. Oh, chocolate. Oh, Make your hands be tall. Oh, chocolate's my friend. It's faithful and true. Just have some chocolate. It's good for you. Good for you. Thank you. <laughs> Eddie the Scotsman's killed. Why not? Why not? All right. Okay, this is a song about a uh, Scotsman who went out and had too much fun one night in a pub. And it has a very interesting sing-along chorus. Scotsman clad in kilt left a bar one evening fair. One could tell by how he'd walked, he'd drunk more than a share. He staggered off until he could no longer keep his feet. Then he staggered off into the grass to sleep beside the street. Ring ding diddle diddle I dee ho, ring di diddle yay hey. He staggered off into the grass to sleep beside the street. Later on, two young and lovely girls did happen by. One says to the other with a twinkle in her eye, See, I'm sleeping Scotsman, so strong and handsome built. I wonder if it's true what they don't wear beneath their kilt. Ring ding diddle little idy ho, ring di diddle yi hey. I wonder if it's true what they don't wear beneath their kilt. They crept up to that sleeping Scotsman, quiet as can be, and lifted up his kilt above his head so they could see. And there behold, for them to view beneath his Scottish skirt was nothing more than God had graced him with on his birth. Ring ding diddle little laddie, oh, ring thy diddle yi hey, twas nothing more than God had graced him with upon his birth. 
They marveled for a moment, then one said, we must be gone. Let's leave a present for our friend before we move along. As a gift, they left a blue silk ribbon tied into a bow. Around the bonny scar, that Scots kid lifting show. Ring, ding, diddle, diddle, I, dee, oh. Ring, di, diddle, I, ay, ay, Around the bonny star, that Scots kid lifting show. The Scotsman oak to nature's call and stumbled toward the trees. Behind a bush he lifts his kilt and gawks at what he sees. And in a startled voice he says to what's before his eyes, Ah, glad I don't know where you've been, but I see you took first prize. Ring, ding, diddle, diddle, I, dee, ho. Ring, di, diddle, I, ay, ay, ah, glad I don't know where you've been, but I see you took first prize. Thank you. So a lot of you heard the punchline and not the setup. Nathan Sisk, this is God talking. Behave yourself. <laughs> well, we are Humphrey Hartman and Cameron from Richland, Washington. We have CDs, CDs, CDs for sale up here. Our new one and our old one and our older ones than that. We take plastic. We take cash. We take pink slips. How about no, we don't take IOUs unless they're written on pink slips. Yeah. Or cash. You could write them on cash. So if you take a $20 bill and you write IOU $15 for the purchase of one CD, we'll accept it. That's 
just what I thought, but see, I had forgotten. I've got her motorcycle waiting for her out and back. If there's one without a reason, her name is Mary Johnson. You know that you ain't seen the last of my friend Ella Jack. You know that you ain't seen the last of my friend, Ella Jack. Thank you. Well, in our part of the world, a couple of years ago, we had a big range fire, lots of acreage. And uh, it was caused by a woman who had a heart attack and drove off the road, fell dead on her steering wheel, and her car set the prairie on fire, and it burned for three weeks. So we wrote a song about it. Mary wrote a song about it. This is Mary Hartman. She looks normal. Adjusted the bridge on this thing and it's way out of tune. It was all cockeyed. Like it was falling down. She looks like a regular normal person, but she's in fact not, and we know that because she plays the banjo. And she plays it in strange places like church. But we're thinking she might want to tune it before she plays it again. No, you sing one. 
Well, I used to live in North Carolina, in Virginia. In all through the southeast U.S., you can find Civil War battlegrounds. And they have little interpretive centers. You can go in them. And uh, I found a notebook in one of them. It was a journal kept by a messmate, you know, two messmates. Um, this kid, 17-year-old kid, kept his own journal. And then he kept a journal for his buddy because he couldn't write. And it was about what happened to them. And it was about their belief that if you hear a whippoorwill at night, that evil stuff's going to happen the next day. And sure enough.
can only try and tell you all I've seen and heard. Oh, I wish I was in the land of cotton. Old times there are not forgotten. Look away, look away. Okay, here's the song about effluent from geese. <laughs> Going from the sublime to the ridiculous. Michelle Cameron on the cello. We're pretty sure Yo-Yo Ma has never played a song about poop on his cello. But you never know. He's played a lot of other stuff. This is another one that's only a couple months old. Shout all the board for the outward journey. No. 
never look back Or you'll turn to salt You fix your mind On a destination Set your wheels turning On a train of thought Oh, sister, where are you going? Off to be a teacher of wealthy girls No, sister, take another train To serve the poor Look back, or you'll turn to salt. You fix your mind on a destination. Set your wheels turning on a train of thought. Oh, brother, are you dying? Yes, and a thousand will pass me by. Oh, sisters of charity, will be. your mind on a destination set your wheels turning on a train of thought song today. We'll be back tomorrow at four o'clock. We are Humphrey Hartman and Cameron from Richland, Washington. We have CDs available. I think we've mentioned that a few times. You can't ever you mention that too many times. <laughs> yeah, my husband sometimes mentioned why we have hundreds of CDs in boxes in our basement. Because you're fortunate to own many Humphrey and Hartman CDs. <laughs> Page violence, hateful news. Mother Mercy seems bound to lose. Will my hope fall beneath the sword? Is there no beauty anymore? Where can I find peace, peace comfort, and courage? Steady heartbeat in what's unsaid in the space between breathing out, breathing in, in meditation, silent in. Where can I find peace, comfort, and courage?
Each moment is a pearl in a dark and tangled world. Peace, comfort, and courage, O Lord. In a night of passion.